So here we are. Um, it's Trev driving, look. We're in uh, Snowdonia National Park, trying to um, actually That's locate that. locate a mountain. Um, what? I don't know if you can see in the distance there, through the trees. There's lots of um, big hilly bits. Let's go and see what it is. What's it saying, Trev? Five pounds. Oh, for you got any change? Uh, my wallet's in the glove box. You alright? One pound. We've got to go back for the pound. What about digging around in the motor? Where are we, Nathan? Uh, that's a good question. Where are we, Jeff? Snowdonia. The foot of Snowdon, actually. The foot of Snowdon. One of the feet. The Rangers Path. Going up the Rangers Path, coming down the Red Dew. Bit of a panic on about the parking ticket. Yeah, got to pay for a bus later, aren't you? <laughs> but yeah. notes. Just didn't have any change for the meter. This is it then, boy. The first real summit. The summit. Of summit or nothing. Well, there's. Uh, everyone else seems to be going up with hardly any equipment. Uh, we might be a little bit over equipped. Might get quite heavy, might get quite hot. It might turn out to be a nothing yet. So. Uh, oh, we'll get up there. Even if we just need to ditch our bags and pick <laughs> them up on the way back. Yeah. Sweet. Let's go and get somewhere where we can start to see where we. what where we, we face. So this is the first of our Mounding real taster of what we're getting ourselves into. From what I hear about Snowdon as well, is that when you get up to the summit, it's like being at a rock concert. There's thousands of people queuing to touch the trigger point at the top, which for us is going to be quite surreal because we've been doing Dartmoor and we've been on our own. You get up to the summit and we we'll stop there for dinner and have it to ourselves. But bearing in mind Snowdon, there's a, a train that can take you up. There's a cafe at the top. It's quite a commercial mountain, a tourist hotspot. Getting some nice photos, Nathan. Got a fair old sweat on. Yeah. Camera's as good as an excuse to stop as any. Exactly. There's the train station down there where we started. You couldn't get bored. No. Beauty, isn't it? Isn't it? Nice to find it here, man. You know, it's like several years now. It's felt like a personal mission to get to Snowden. And every time relying on other people to sort of help motivate and actually get there. And in fact, that sort of earlier this year, you were like, 
been watching some documentaries on mountains. I would have got mountains. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went up and done some Dartmoor, and the next thing you know, you've booked Snowden, bank holiday weekend, we're doing it. And then there was so much other shit that was happening in my life between then and now, that it just seemed like a million miles away. And then all of a sudden, Friday, boom, it was here. We were packing, we were in the car, we were going. And now we're here, man, it is, is not disappointing. I mean, the views are absolutely epic. It was painful going through the Italian-Swiss border when I went to Europe earlier in the year in a car because we just didn't have time to stop and admire taking the views, look at the mountains and soak it up. But oh, it's just made this even more worthwhile, like, you know. That up there is the summit. Can barely see it up there. You can focus it in this light. Come closer. Hang on, there you go. We're here. So yeah, that is the summit. So we're not even a, yeah, we're about a fifth, aren't we? But it has been a zigzaggy path, hasn't it? It's, no, it's quite just under a fifth, I'd say. We're well on the way now. Um, um, so it looks like we've done the easiest bit of this route at the moment. It seems to be all halved the whole way up. You can see the zigzags cutting up through. So although it's 3,000 feet up, it's uh, a lot better terrain than what we're used to on dark. Across the ridge, yeah, up to the, the summit. There seems to be a queue. It does look like a mass of people on the summit already. Loads going on up there, isn't there? Commercialisation, my friend. Yeah, it is horrendous. <laughs> We said we'd get to the top of the zigzags and stop for a bit of a bite. And that'll be about half eleven. We started at half nine, so I don't know how far up we are. This is hard going, this, little, this bit here. But this view more than makes up for it. When you look back over what we've walked, it looks it looks like a long old walk. And it probably is a long old walk. But this bit up here, the zigzagging. That's been tough. That's so that's probably the sheerest we've walked yet, isn't it? I think so, yeah. There's been a few very short like twenty foot scrabbles or whatnot on tours on Dartmoor and that, but yeah. this is the steepest, most consistent hike we've had to date, isn't it? I keep having to stop just to catch my bloody breath. <laughs> I haven't smoked for like over a month again. Well more than that really. I've had one fag I think. Um but you'd think I was, when I'm walking up here, it feels like I was smoking last night. It's not good. Yeah, I still need a bit of work, but it feels like I'm clearing my lungs out. It's all... They're getting an exercise that they haven't had before, so it's got to be good, is not it? No pain, no gain.
to what we've been through with his 20 years of exercise behind him, under his belt. I've been doing it for four months. I've been out once a month in that time. He's ploughing on and we've really taken ages to reach him. But it is a push and you do think, I can't keep stopping. And then you get that little bit further and you think, no, I've got to stop. <sighs> yeah, like he says, fanny. I'm a fanny. But... I've only tried to spare you one, bud. Yeah, I know. One day, Nate, I'll be running up these mountains. Fell running next, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we're doing next. Summit or nothing, <laughs> then fell running. <sighs> but, um, as I keep saying, this, you can just stop and take this in. That's why we're here, we're here to enjoy what we're doing, what we're seeing. Um, so let's just enjoy it. Doesn't matter if we're not up there in record time, does it, mate? No. Oh, good. <laughs> What's happening, Nate? Um, well, we're gonna have a little stop, aren't we? A bite Thank. to eat. Bit of a refuel. Thank goodness. But uh, the worst parts, so the steepest parts that we have to ascend, is zigzag, 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 and you're heading away from the peak, back to the peak, away from the peak, back to the peak, and it's kind of soul destroying. I think we've done all of that now. I think once we get around the crest of these rocks, it looks like it's a fairly straight run up to the peak then. Yeah. So uh, I think we've probably ascended two thirds of the height, you know, from what we've got to do today. But up here, beautiful views, nice patch of grass to sit on and chill out for a bit. It's a breeze cooling us off as well, like you know. So, stop and have a refill, won't it, boy? Yes, please. Cup of coffee. Oh, good one. Booty. Water might be boiled here, yeah, boy. Let's have a brew then. Have a coffee, Yeah. You don't get this many people up on Dartmoor. What's <laughs> your knife? There's just a constant stream of people. Everywhere you look, up on our route, over on that route. We always knew it's going to be busy on the bank holiday, didn't we, Nave? Mm. But you just didn't understand quite how busy. When we do Dartmoor, I like, I like the feeling that no one else is there. Like you know, it feels more wildernessy. Yeah. You know, like you're exploring. Yeah. Here we go, the final leg, I'm on the last leg, we uh, stop for a bit, get some energy in us, I feel I've just lost all that energy in the first, we only stopped there. like the cover of World War Z. Get in there. <laughs> Is that a charity run or something? Yeah, cancer. The old, he's got the ump but he's going. <laughs> <laughs> Good Still old doing it.
to do like an exorcism on people. I go up to my butt. He came over to us and said, Look at this. All those mountains we was looking up at earlier. We're now looking down at. Summits in view. Hordes of people. It's quite bizarre. It's like the day to the seaside and there's thousands of people there. Not like our Dartmoor. You didn't get this queuing up on High Willies or up on Great Links Tour. Nice. Um, yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. Just um, a bit overpopulated, if I'm honest. Uh, to me, this isn't what the outdoors is about. But you know, it's an attraction. I guess you can't get away from that. It's like a theme park up here, isn't it? But hey, we're here. We're going to summit. Let's get it done. It's alright, we're pretty good at this, being British and all. <laughs> so we are still in the queue. See the queues ever growing. We're going up there. Um, but it seems that now that people are queuing both sides, so it looks like everyone's making a good decision and coming up one route and going down the other. Every now and again, you get a, you get a dickhead coming down here, knocking everyone out the way. One step at a time. But just savour the views. Savour these views. Look at them. Feet away. Hey. Feet away. Feet away from the summit. Summit. Might. I'm asking to take a little touch in a minute. He's done it. They've summited. Mini fist bump. I'm going to do the same. Yeah. Summit. <laughs> Summit or nothing. Can we uh, go and drink a rum now? Let's have another rum and talk. Well, 
Summited. Summited. No nothings. No nothings today, even though I contemplated it a couple of times. <laughs> Celebrating with, don't show the label. Can't, can't show the brand. A can of rum and coke, kindly donated to the Summit or Nothing team by my wife, Don Don. Also known as Basecamp. Cheers, Don Don at Basecamp. Cheers, Basecamp. To you. Cheese. Cheese. It's going to be good. It'd be nicer in a cold ice glass. We was going to ask in the cafe, but the queue for the cafe was worse for the queue, worse than the queue for the summit. There are so many people here. It's frightening the amount of people here. Oh, I have the same idea as 50,000 other people today. I oh, know. I wonder how many people have been up here today. Just swarms of people. I think there's more people there now than there was earlier, but look at it up there. It looks like ants over sugar, doesn't it? Okay, something, you know? Yeah, I think the lesson learned is don't do a popular summit during a school holiday on a national bank on holiday. On a bank holiday weekend. <laughs> look, get my phone back. No, they're just showing off. <laughs> they had small bags. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Have a nice rum and coke. Get some alcohol in us. A generic spiced molasses flavoured spirit with some form of cola flavoured soft drink. Yeah. Endorsed by a, a sea merchant. <laughs> Endorsed by the head of a seafaring vessel. <laughs> His name rhymes with organ. Clouded over. Yeah. We're uh, off the beaten track. <laughs> we'll come down and follow the train track instead. We did contemplate turning down the Ridgeview path, but um, it took us so long to get up. It's my fault entirely. Hold my hands up. But yeah, we didn't want to get down there and then miss the bus back to our car and have to walk that as well. So we thought, let's just walk where we've come. But you can already feel you're moving at a better pace. Obviously we're going down. What a relief it is to be going down for a change. But I guess that's the trouble with mountains, they're up. They're all up. It's hiking and that's always felt like such a, a personal thing. Nothing personal about that whatsoever, was there? No. Well, it was like you know, three days ago. I was at Legoland with the family, and it felt like that. Yeah. <laughs> There's just nowhere to move. Queuing for the rides, and we're queuing for a summit. Not quite how I'd imagined it, but tomorrow's another day. We'll take a quieter peak. Yep. I was warned. My mate, Mr. Paul Watts, Mr. Cornwall, he did tell me, he said it would be a surreal experience up on, up on Snowden. He said you could go a route where you're all on your own, and then get up to the summit and all of a sudden there's thousands of people. Well, he wasn't wrong.
we're, up, we're on level ground. The mountains in the background. That's what we what we conquered. The end of our journey. I'm getting back down to the first little zigzaggy bit. I'm getting off the level path. So this has been Snowden. We're getting down to the bottom. Journey's almost over. The plan was to do another mountain tomorrow. So far I'm not undeterred. See how I feel in the morning if I'm aching all over. But you know, I think I still would like to do another. See something else while we're up here. I know Nate probably would. We've achieved something. We've achieved one of our three goals. And, uh, you know, once we've done all three of those goals, then we'll uh, aim to shift the goalposts. But we need you people to keep watching us, egging us on, spurring us on. Leave your comments below. Let us know what have you done these walks? Which is your favourite walk up a Snowdon? Which is your favourite mountain in Snowdonia? Where's your uh, favourite mountain in the country? Day two of the Summit or Nothing Snowdonia Mountain Challenge. Just made that up. We contemplated kayaking today, but this morning we were like, no, well, last night we was like, do another mountain. And look at this, we're coming to find a mountain called Trafan, and uh, it's around here somewhere. Did you say your boots are hurting a little bit? My boots are already rubbing, yeah, there's like a bit of plastic coming out the side of my boot and it's right on me, like knuckly bit on my ankle. Um, but I'm going to win, so I'm going to try and win this time. Positive mental attitude, we can do this. But, but we're really going to find out if it is going to be a summit or nothing today, isn't it? Is it going to be a summit or nothing? Let's get on. You can't quite see the top because of the cloud, but that's Wood Trifan. This is where we are heading. Mountains everywhere, as far as the eye can see. But the eye can't see very far because there's mountains everywhere. Cool, right. So we've just come along the A5. We've parked here somewhere. Near the entrance to this route in. Yep. Now this is Trifan or Trifan back. It's the first point of reference. Yep. In the book. So I've transferred it to the map. That was smooth. Um, so we're parked here somewhere. Yeah. Because this is that driveway in behind this little patch of woodland here, look. It's down there where that car just came out a minute ago. Yeah. So we're going to follow this route along, and here's Triffin back. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. And we're going to follow along the base, and then come up here at the far south peak, and then work our way back up to the summit of Triffin, or Trifan, or tri or yeah. wherever it is. So right. it looks on there like not a very long journey. No. But most of those miles are going to be vertical, I should imagine. <laughs> it's only a few kilometres. So maybe one, two, three, maybe a six kilometre round trek, I reckon. Uh, you know, and that's a f***ing generous estimate. So here we go, up Trifan. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit more apprehensive today. Uh, a bit anxious. It's not like Snowdon, where you know that everyone goes up it, children, animals, 
There's a bit of scrambling involved. I don't know what that entails. How easy that's going to be with these massive packs on our back. Scrambling up is one thing, scrambling down is another. You know, if you're coming down backwards with a massive pack on your back, trying to find your foot in when you can't see where your foot is, that sort of thing, you know, it's a bit daunting. But at the same time, you know, you've got to experience these things in life, haven't you? So we're, I believe, on this green path here somewhere, and we want to take a right off. So what we see there is that, find it, that we can't see from this angle at the minute is Trofan or Trofan. Basically, we need to head up there. Once we get over the head of it, we're going to follow along un the underside of Trofan, yeah, until we get to the gap between um, the far south peak and the main peak of Trifan and then we're going to head up and then head right so it doesn't matter which side of this we go as long as we go one side of this up that way Basically, in the book, it says we want to pass up on the right-hand side yeah. of uh, Trifan back, Trifan, Trifan back, whatever it is. Yeah. Right. Looking here, this little outcut in the map where it's white. Yeah. With that campsite in it. See that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's got to be that campsite there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. If you look over there, it's a person walking up some steps. Oh uh, yeah. Right. Trifan back. Yes, there's a green route up there, and also it's at the far side of this little outcut shape where the campsite is. Yeah. So it's got to be that route up over there. Anyway, we just come around the corner, the other side of this slab. There's a group of uh, varying different ages and skill levels of people sort of climbing up. Uh, a bit of top roping, a bit of lead climbing. Uh, it's, you know, it's a fairly gradual slope, but I guess when you're on there, it's quite intimidating. But a little bit envious of what they're doing, you know. Uh, I'd love to have another go at that sort of thing. But, you know, getting on a bit now, and I think sort of I'm quite content, especially after reading some of the horror stories of people that just walk in, in mountains in uh, extreme weather. I think what we're doing is really dangerous enough for uh, people of our level of adventurousness. Is that a word? Is adventurousness a Ad word? Adventurousnessisms. Adventurousnessism. Adventurousnessism. We've got a keen sense of adventurousnessism, and um, you know we're hoping to explore that through walking mountains, not climbing them so much. But we'll see. Who knows what the future holds, eh? Early days. So we found the path now, can you see, we're on a path, it's like stony steps, so I think this is the route, so again, it, there is a path, which is handy when you're as great at reading that maps as we are, I'm sure Nate's alright but I don't have the confidence and then I fluster him I think, as you might have told in our last Dartmoor expedition when he's up there in the mist and there's moments where I doubt what he says and then he doubts what he says and then he's positive it's this and then I'm like are you sure and he's like yeah. but anyway there's a path here so following that
and up to the top of your phone. I don't know, you left the book behind. So I reckon when we get over this fence, I think it's this black line here. I think we're gonna get onto this path. Yeah, follow this dotted line. Yeah, up to here. And then I believe we follow it around here, up over Far South Peak, and up onto Triffin. Yeah. But, I'm guessing, if we get over this sty, or this um, steps over the fence, I'm guessing that's where we pick up the path that is marked on the map. Right. So we have uh, stopped a little bit back there, just having a play with my camera, trying to take some f photos, you know, when people make the water milky. I've not really had a go at that before. So, <clears throat> got the tripod out, saw a little stream, a little waterfall coming down the side of the mountain. Just took some photos. Um, here they are. I'll show them to you now. You can see my steady progression as I'm messing with the settings, trying to find the right setting. Yeah, this sort of has got me into trying to use my camera. Nate knows a little bit, he's been sort of showing me. I've bought a couple of books, so hopefully use my camera for more than just filming. Use it as the camera it's designed for as well. What it's all about, isn't it? Photography, walking, mountains. Bloody midges in them. Well, the views were amazing today. <laughs> Breathtaking. I think we're up in the clouds. It's coming thicker, isn't it? So, whether it is because we're up higher, probably is, isn't it? I've got to be honest, I'm not too experienced at hiking at these altitudes. Altitudes. And uh, my limited knowledge of meteorology, uh, you know, I'd struggle to give you an accurate answer to that question. <laughs> it's never stopped you before. Well, the weather's really come in now, hasn't it, Nave? What a pair of mist on there, boy. It's uh, it's like that day up on Dartmoor, isn't it? Yeah. You so said this time we got a distinct track to be following, which is actually yeah, which is quite handy. Really aiding navigation. Um, we just bumped into a bumped into a seasoned rambler, XSAS or something. Do you reckon? No, he was something. Didn't he? going on about didn't he? He's uh, sort of told us different paths to take, um, different things to look out for. He's to, where did you tell us to go? Bristley Ridge? Yeah. Where? He may have over overestimated our abilities, abilities <laughs> and motivation. He probably thought, oh look at these guys, massive backpacks on them. They must know what they're on about. And again, he was, he didn't have a massive backpack. <laughs> Everyone in that 22 litre rucksack he had. Speed, it said. 22 litre for speed. Um, but it's training, isn't it? Training. Training. You know what they say, if it's not raining. It's training. It's not training. Or something like that. Oh. There's a tea. We're following the main path. Oh, is this cobbler's knob? Definitely following a string. It's going up though, so. Just the same way we're going. Well, it's not, it's running down, but. It's coming from up. It's running down, but coming from up. 
Now matey that we saw said that there's a bit of a boulder field I think it's quite nondescript now I don't know if he's on about this or not or it's not so much of a clear cut path along here now Well, it's misty, it's difficult to tell where we're going, it's a bit confusing, um, all we know is that Trufan is meant to be due west of where we're heading, so we've just got the compass out to find out where north is, which is over that way, so due west must be that way, so we know Trufan is there on our right side. So we're just going to keep following this path, find somewhere for a brew stop, gather our thoughts, Contemplate the meaning of life. Yeah. F off again. Oh, wow. Look at that view. Summit, isn't it? Not yet. Up there, isn't it? Oh, summit. yeah, the summit. Nothing. Maybe we could be less than 200 metres from the path if I'm right. Yeah? Well, I could be wrong. Either way, I'm fairly confident we're going the right way. Well, we're going up. Yeah, there's a bit on the path we were on that looks like. Very close to the path we've got to on. It goes up a crag. Now I'm confused because there's all sorts of paths. <sighs> you know what's one? There's one up. That's one up. Come on. Well, we asked for adventure and got it, didn't we, Nate? Some good walking along here, I'm liking it. And funnily enough, it feels a bit easier than yesterday. I thought I was going to ache like mad, but it's alright. I don't even seem to be quite as breathless. Whether we've not done any real climbing yet, I don't know. But we have constantly been climbing, but I struggled like mad yesterday. I've manned up a bit today. About time. Well, that's really can't see at all, can I? No. No. Coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Goodness. Let's have a bruise, isn't it? Feels a good place to stop. Is any? Well here we are somewhere on Trafan or near Trafan, around Trafan. Not quite sure are we Nate? Because we can't see a bloody thing. We don't know if we're on the right track. It's good fun isn't it? <laughs> we're just exploring malarkey. It's getting thicker. Misty in between me and you here. Yeah, it's not great, but it's you know I love it. Just love being out. When the weather's like this, it makes it more of a challenge, like, isn't it? It's more of an adventure, isn't it? Yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah, 
Hoodie in her. Nothing like some hot and spice. When you're up on the side of the mountain. Maybe Nathan, this is the nondescript boulder field. I think you could be right. I'd like to think you're right. I've got no idea, mate. I can't even remember what he said or what order they, all the things we're looking out for. Something to do with a cantilever and a peak. And a wall and a ladder. Gandalf the Grey. <laughs> the caves of Moria. Moria. Mines of Moria, yeah. yeah. Sure. Sure, Shank Redemption. Yeah, yeah. some old geezers. He said some guy was going to come up to us and say, if you need anything, he's a guy who can get things. Yeah. Red. <laughs> he was black. Still going up. You had no idea where you were going, didn't it? Yeah, and where you've been, and where you were. Yeah, where you're likely to be at some point. Well, maybe we ask someone next time we see someone. Can you ask someone? Is this non nondescript boulder field, do you think? <laughs> What's that there then, Nave? I have no idea. Not on the map? It's definitely a lake up in the mountain. It's a little bit small though, isn't it? Back on path. Oh, we're on a path, we don't know. Oh yeah. Yep, you're right. It's like a, an avalanche. Isn't it? Oh, that's all slid, isn't it? Down here. It's weird, isn't it? The path keep going that way. You said you go over the wall and go right. You said there was a sty. There's no sty here, is there? People's footprints are going straight across and following the path. It's like it's all been dug out, it is like a slide, isn't it? God knows. No. You think this is a nondescript boulder field? Another one. Ah, oh, where's the path go? Don't go up, don't go down. Let's go across. Just, that's it. It just ends. Is that it going? I like this because we're getting deeper and deeper into unknown territory in the mist um, on a mountain. Yeah. It's exciting. Is it home time yet? That bloke's probably just told us where to go to 
get lost. He's sniggering to himself and he's like, they're gonna get so lost. There's a rock face, whenever I've seen one. You heard, rock piece face. So we're next to the summit now, Nave. We're next to the summit now and we're on a good path. And the back of Far South Peak. Did we want to go up over the top of it on the route that we had in the book? You left the book. Well, no, you had it. You should have said, Trev, you're going to pack this book. You were looking at it. You were the last person to touch it. I think the path we're on is taking us around the back. So I reckon if we go back there and take that route head upwards, we get to the top of Far South Peak, and then we can come down and head up Triffin. Triffin is literally 300 metres away. Yeah, that looks a bit treachery over there, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go back up, up top of this one. Come on. So we we think we found something of a landmark. Pretty sure it looks pretty major. It's quite frustrating that we can see this. There's a big mountain up there. I just can't see how to get up it. It's knife on my finger. Um, and like Nathan says, it's frustrating too that this bloke said, oh, you'll reach a stone wall with a sty on it. And we haven't seen a stone wall with a sty on it. We've been walking for ages. And now we're the other side of what he said. So we've took a turn wrong somewhere, I think. The mist isn't abating. We keep thinking it is and it's not. Yeah, we come past this. Here it is. The stone wall. Can we just, should we just have the GNTs here? Yeah. Before you go, yeah, let's just. We're, uh, oh, not a problem, man. I don't mind. I think we're somewhere about um, this, this about there on this wall, I reckon. About in the middle. There's lots of styles. Right. Um, somewhere there. Yep. And yeah. we want to go over the wall, so turn right, over the and wall just keep and going go straight. Up. Way, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you there's quite obvious paths. Yeah. 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 That's the plan, yeah. Once we get there. I ain't leaping over it. No. <laughs> have you done it? Yeah, I have, but not in weather like this. No. <laughs> when it's dry, yeah. Cool. I do. Have All right, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Cheers, bye. Yeah. <sighs> Got completely lost. Two kind people to help us. One thing I did notice, he's constantly checking his map. <laughs> not like walk for an hour and then have a look he's constantly keeping an eye on it so with the help of two strangers we managed to find this sty this wall they uh, led us back over all the terrain we just walked <laughs> and uh, past that weird sort of channel that we found which turned out at the side of the mountain so now we're here, it seems to be a path over there. We did have a bit of a break in the weather. We could see stuff. But not anymore. Not again now, Nathan, it? Um, 
Let's summit something. Let's summit summit, shall we? Yeah, looks like it. So from the end of that wall, about 75 metres. Yeah. Up there somewhere. Yeah, straight up there. <sighs> I don't know if you can see where we've just been over some pretty nondescript boulder field. There's a lot of them up here, isn't there? Not a nondescript boulder field. We're pretty sure we're. What is it, the south? What's it called? We're around the side of um, Fire South Peak. Huh. Stye. You're going right the way around it. No. There is a small section of wall. In between the two? Yeah. So it's just a up that way. So this little black line here, it's this section of wall behind us that we've just found. Yeah. Right. From the end of it, there should be a path that goes three ways. Yeah. Yeah. And we want to follow the path that heads due north, pretty much. So what we'll do is we set a bearing from the end of the wall to the dock on the 917, yeah. which is the highest point of Triffin, yeah. and then we march on it. And then we summit with a G&T cocktail, f***ing boiling in the bag, and a good half hour's f***ing rest. Oh yeah, this looks, this looks like a path knife. You're right. That could be the Adam and Eve, or it could be the false Adam and Eve that our friend who we've met earlier told us about. Well, well, summit. We summited another mountain. Chiffon, Chiffan, Chiffon. However you like to say it. We like to say Chiffan, Chiffon, Chiffon. We're going to sit up here for a bit. There are people we just bumped into. We bumped into loads of people again. It is almost as busy as Snowden up here, but not quite. Popularity for hiking. Uh, I guess it's the attraction of the mountains, you know. Uh, we've gone for another 3,000 foot plus mountain in Wales and there seems to be a selection of people that want to tick those off. Um, and we seem to be sort of following in with that crowd really, don't we? Yeah. We've uh, bumped into people on the way who've helped us out and people on the way who we thought had hindered us but like the first chap we met. He knew exactly what he was on about. He told us everything, and uh, we, if we'd have taken a bearing from whereabouts we was, uh, and a rough idea, measurement of how far we had to go until the track bared right, uh, we probably wouldn't have got lost. But what happened is we missed, because the tracks aren't—they're not obvious. They're not as obvious as you'd want them to be. We missed the track leading to the right kept walking and in the end we stumbled across a young couple whilst we were actually walking away from the mountain 
in completely the opposite direction. So fortunately they got us back on route and uh, here we are. And here we are at the top, a nondescript G&T. Yep. Once um, again donated by Base Camp. Cheers Don Don. Cheers Base Camp. And this is our celebratory summit or nothing. Summit. Hey, Nath, we summited. Summit. Summit. We did a summit. <laughs> Mm, that is good. That is good. We have hot coffee, haven't we, Nath? Oh, it's a bowl of hot coffee, isn't it? Always yeah. lightens the mood, doesn't it? Yeah. We're going to stay up here for a little bit longer. See if it does clear at all. Okay. Confession time. So we've had our coffee, our celebratory drink, a bit premature. The longer we've been sat here, we can hear more voices over there. Every now and again the mist here fades and you can see like a shark fin sort of shape. That's the summit, not where we are. Once again, making ourselves look like complete f***ing idiots. We've got to get up, more up over there so we're gonna do it then get off this f***ing mountain so this is the uh, summit then Nath that's the summit up there isn't it boy? <sighs> Um, no. <laughs> you? You gonna do it? Looks scary just looking at it. Especially with this mist, it really doesn't look like there's anything the other side of it, does it? Get on then, Chinus. Go on then. Pack on or pack off? Yeah. <laughs> there he is. It's just a little step. He's gonna go for it. Oh, that made me feel ill watching you. You going back? Yeah. Oh. Look, it makes it look so easy. Oh. Trev's not coming up, are you, Trev? I can't even watch you do it, mate. I have to look away. Can't come all this way and not do it, mate. Well, knife, some man. I couldn't even entertain getting up there. I do not do things like that. <laughs> Walking mountains is what I was here for. Not jumping across bloody stones up like that. But good on Nate for doing it. Gives us some good video footage. <sighs> I'm getting around here. Due to the unnerving nature of the summit, I was summit and you was nothing. I was nothing.
please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. This has all been a waste of f***ing time. <laughs> That's the full summit, wasn't it? That's not even the one we were sat on, is it? There's some stones and some mist, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, well, here's the sty. Yeah, last known point. We can take a reference from here and find our way. It's all cool. It's been eventful, hasn't it, mate? Yeah. We've made new friends, even if it was for the briefest of 30 seconds or 10 minutes, whilst they help us get back on the right route. We've missed our path. We've climbed rocks. We've slipped, we've fallen. Discovered that the microphone on my camera doesn't work. So, a lot of the footage of the weekend won't have audio. We've not really fallen out, <coughs> but we did have a brief disagreeance on a path. And I think by not listening to me and listening to you was the right choice. It must be my gut instinct. We didn't. We went a safer route. We got where we wanted to go. We eventually summited. Now we've just got to get to the ground. Back to the car. So. Last leg of the journey. I'm still hoping that the sun will break this mist away for us just so we can have a glimpse at what we've conquered. Because we haven't even seen it, have we? No. We haven't even looked up to see where we were. There's a path down there. You can see a path. That looks like the gully that we walked across earlier. That's the path across the two gullies. So we was over there, and when we met them people, we were walking that way. Oh, mate. Come down here and look out that way, If you see this now, coming out behind us, this is what it's about. This is why we're here. This is what we're conquering, climbing. Mountains. We're actually up a mountain. At the moment, we're on the side of a mountain trying to get down. All this loose bloody slate. But, uh, might slide down, it might be quicker. Vast this is. That's what I was saying, mate. Well, yeah, this is a vast landscape. I can't see where we were and where we are and where we wanted to be. We were up there. As we've learnt over the last few episodes and series of uh, videos from Summit and Nothing, my credibility as a navigator is. Uh, dwindling rapidly <laughs> but uh, I, I'm fairly certain that if you look for the white house on the opposite side of the valley yeah yeah 
and you look at the big clump of rocks on our side of the valley that's like the last clump before it drops off yeah the big outcrop on the left i think we went down we come up the right hand side of that this morning so i think if we head down the right hand side of that we should see the campsite start of the lake the path and the car that's where we're headed This is us, coming off the mountain. That's where we're parked, that's where Nathan is, that's where I am. That was where we were, Nathan. Yeah, right up the top of that one. Doesn't look much on the camera, as we always say, but... To be honest, mate, we've been taking photographs of mountains all day today and yesterday, and I've looked back over what we've taken, and just, nothing we seem to be able to do adds perspective to something that big. The only way anyone's really going to gain any perspective on what we're doing is to actually go there and do it, or if they've been and done it. Yeah. So, summit or nothing. Snowdonia tour yeah. 2016. We're going to do more. We're going to do more. That's the plan. This is just the start. Scarfield Pike, here we come. We're coming for you. You're next, mofo. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please, as always, comment, subscribe, like. Let us know if you've done these climbs. Love to hear from you. Goodbye. Cheers.